This is Lesson 16 in Module 3, Solving Two-Digit Dividend Problems Using Place Value Dis. So let's start with a simple problem. 6 divided by 3. And let's show it on a place value chart. So it's six ones. So let's show six ones, our total. And then we're going to divide it into three groups. So let's make lines across our place value chart to th show three groups. We're dividing six tens into three groups. So as we put them in groups, we're going to cross them out from our total. So we're going to put one in the first group, one in the second group, one in the third group, and we see we still have three left, so we can keep going. One in the next group, one in the second group, and one in the third group. And with this, we've used all of our original six, so we have no remainders. Showing this in long division form, we'd write six and make the division sign and three for our divisor. And we see that there's two in each group. So we write our two up here and three groups with two in each group, three times two, we use six. So we're gonna write six here and we're going to subtract to see if we have any left, which we don't. So we have a zero remainder. Let's try another one. Let's try 36 divided by 3. Now we have both 10s and 1s in our dividend. So let's put both 10s and 1s on our place value chart. And we'll show our dividend was three tens and six ones. And we're dividing into three groups, one, two, three. So we're gonna start with our largest place value, which is the tens. We have three tens. So once again, as we use them, we're gonna mark them off. One 10 in each group. There's no tens left over, so now we can move to the ones column, and we put one in each group. We have enough left to put another one in each group. So in each group, we have one ten and two ones, which is 12. So showing this in long division form, we have 36 divided by 3. We look at the tens first. We divided three tens into three groups. So we put one in each group. Here's our one that we put in each group. And three groups times one ten equals three tens. We didn't have any tens left, but we still have six ones. And when we div <clears throat> divided our six ones into three groups, we put two ones in each group. <clears throat> two ones times three groups. We use six ones. And when we subtract, there was nothing left. So our quotient is 12 with no remainder. Let's look at another one. Let's do five divided by four. And we only have ones, so we'll just show ones on our place value chart. And we have five ones, and we're making four groups. So let's divide one, two, three, four groups. And again, we'll mark them off as we use them. One in the first group, one in the second group, one in the third group, 
one in the fourth group. Now I only have one left, so I can't put any more in the other groups. This is just my remainder. So again, showing it in long division, my dividend is five, my divisor is four. There was one in each group. One, four times is four. And when I subtract, I have one left. So my answer is five divided by four is one remainder one. Let's try a two-digit one. Let's do 45 divided by 4. So we're going to need 10s and 1s in our place value chart. And we'll show our dividend as 4 10s and 5 1s and we're making four groups. So we want one ten in each group. All the tens are used, so let's go to the ones. We put one, one in each group. I have one one left over which isn't enough to put in every group so that will be my remainder so I have one ten and one one which equals eleven so as long division forty five divided by four looking at the tens first I was able to put one ten in each group one ten four times is four there were no tens left, but I still have five ones. And I was able to divide five ones into four groups, putting one in each group. One times four is four. And when I subtract, I have one left over. So 50, 45 divided by four would be 11, remainder one. Let's do another one. Eight divided by three. Again, we only have ones in our place value chart. We have eight ones. And we're making three groups. So we can put one in the first group one in the second group, one in the third group, one in the first group, another one in the second group, and in the third group. And we see we have two left, which is not enough to put one in every group. So that becomes our remainder. So eight divided by three, we get two in each group. Two ones three times is six. And what we have left is two. So we have two remainder two. Now we can use multiplication and division to check our answer by multiplying the quotient, which is two, times the divisor, which is three, and we get six. And then we add in the remainder and we get back to our dividend. That's our check. Let's try it with a two digit number. 68 divided by three. We need ones and tens on our place value chart. We're gonna show 68 as six tens and eight ones. We're making three groups. So we're going to put one in each group. One in the second one in each group. 
And we used up all of our tens. Let's go to the ones. One in each group. We have enough to put a second one in each group. And we have two left over. So again, as long division, we show our dividend divided by three. Looking at the tens first, we put two tens in each group. Two tens three times is six tens. When we subtract, we didn't have any tens left. We had eight ones. We were able to put two in each group. Two ones three times is six ones and we had two left over. So our answer is 22 remainder two. We can check with multiplication and addition. We start with our quotient and then our divisor and multiply, we get 66. And then we add in our remainder and we get 68 back to our original dividend. So let's try some problem set problems. Let's do number one together. We have eight divided by three, so we're gonna show our eight ones. We're gonna divide them into three groups. <clears throat> one in the first group, one in the second group, one in the third group. We have enough to put a second one in each group. And we have two left over. So eight divided by three, two in each group. Two times three is a total of six that were used. When we subtract, we had two left. So it's two remainder two. So our quotient is two, our remainder is two. And we can check our work by multiplying our quotient times our divisor, we get six. We add back in the remainder and we go to eight, which was our original dividend. Okay. You try number four, pause the video and try number four. Okay, let's see what we got in this one. So we're gonna show our dividend as three tens and eight ones. And we're dividing them into three groups. We put one ten in each group. We've used all of our tens. We put one one in each group. We have enough to put another one in each group. We have two left, so that's our remainder. So three tens divided into three groups. We put one in each group. We used one times three tens. We don't have any tens left. We have eight ones. We put two ones in each group. We used a total of six ones with two left over. <clears throat> and we check it by multiplying our quotient times our divisor, adding in our remainder, and we're back to our original dividend. So our quotient is 12 and our remainder is two. Let's go on to number five. Stop the video, try number five yourself. Okay, let's check it. So we started with six ones. We're making four groups. We put one in each group. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We have two left. So starting with six ones, four groups, we put one in each group. One, four times is four with two left over. That's our remainder two. So our quotient is one, our remainder is two. We check our work, quotient 
times divisor plus remainder equals our original dividend. Pause the video and try number six. Let's look at it together. We had eight tens and five ones in our dividend. We're making four groups. We put, we're using four tens, one in each group. We have four left, so we can put four more tens, one in each group. We've used all our tens. Now we go to the ones. I can see we can put one in each group. We have one left over, which isn't enough to put in every group. So we now have 22, 21 in each group, two tens and one one. So four, dividing up eight tens, we were able to put two tens in each group. Two times four, we used eight tens. There's no tens left. We have six ones. We are able to put one, t uh, one in each group. One times four is four with two left over. So our answer is 21 remainder two. So our quotient is 21, our remainder is two. Checking our work, 21 times four is 84. Adding in the remainder, we get back to 86. That concludes lesson 16.